welcome back. Uh, this is Surface Noise. My name is John. Um, for today's video, I am going to be doing another in my Top 100 series. Um, and today will feature the 2000 album by Bell and Sebastian, Hold Your Hands Child, You Walk Like a Peasant. Um, and we'll start in just a sec. Alright, um, so, um, Bell and Sebastian, um, just as for some background, they uh, formed in 1994, um, they started off, um, a couple of them, they were musicians, they entered a college um, project or thing, they applied for this or something. And the, what they did over it was just they're from Scotland, so this is a sc Scottish college, and they um, uh, the idea was that uh, they would um, let bands or let people who've applied do a couple demos and uh, give them a chance to have them released and stuff. And uh, the school was so impressed with their demos that they let them record a whole album, which became Tiger Milk, which is that album right there. Um, and the original pressing of that goes for a fair bit, about like somewhere around a thousand dollars, because they didn't know that they would be anything. So, um, but yeah, so that was how they started. They very quickly followed up with uh, "If You're Feeling Sinister," proper record, but they're both proper records. But you know. so that was the start when that uh, uh, from the college demos to the full album to you know becoming. <laughs> uh, you know, fairly successful. Um, so, uh, as far as the name, um, the uh, name Belle and Sebastian apparently comes from, there is a French novel, Belle et Sebastian. I don't know if I pronounced that very well, but um, so that was a novel. It was turned into, it was adapted for TV, um, and it's the lead singer. Um, he wrote a short story about the uh, TV adapta adaptation, and that's where they got the name for the band from. Kind of convoluted explanation, but that apparently is how it worked. So, anyway, so um, as far as this album, uh, and also as far as their style, they're called, I've seen them referred to as chamber pop. I mean, I think they're pop in uh, sort of an indie sense. Um, you know, very melodic. They use a lot of different instruments, everything from acoustic and electric guitars, organ, piano, cello, violin, horns, whatever, whatever works, you know, seems to be the thing. So, um, and I think it sounds good. They do a good job with it. Um, so this is the album I'm talking about today. This is Fold Your Hands, Child, You Walk Like a Peasant. This is the first uh, vinyl release I ever bought from them. I had bought, been buying everything on CD previously. Um, this is uh, UK Press, um, and I bought this at Zulu Records in Vancouver way, way back. Um, inside you've got your lyrics on the one side and a band photo on the other side. Um, if you look at the top, there's uh, someone in a gorilla costume as the waiter. And the, the bottom here, it actually says... Please don't let them make me a monkey butler. So, that's pretty funny. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so this was 2000. Um, and um, uh, this, this is one of my favorite records of theirs. Um, this is, uh, would have been probably the third thing I ever heard by them. Um, I heard Tiger Milk and that's Boy With Arab Strap I have on CD as well. And then I got this one that came out brand new on vinyl. Um, and it starts off with I Fought In A War, which is a very uh, very nice acoustic track. Um, starts off with him singing uh, basically by himself without any instruments. Uh, the guitar, acoustic guitar kicks in and then, you know, it has a nice... Uh, uh, it's a fairly long song, has a good melody to it, uh, very nice flow. The model uh, was one of the, the singles, so 
only video I can actually find when I was looking for videos uh, that they released off this record. Um, the model is, is seemed to be the main single. Um, other songs on side one, Beyond the Sunrise, Waiting for the Moon to Rise. Don't Leave the Light on Baby is actually my favorite track on this record. It's very, very cool. Um, the Wrong Girl, which seems like that should have been a single too because it's such an upbeat pop song, but Chalet Lines is another one, Nice Day for Assault. Woman's Realm is very cool, I believe. Either Sarah Martin or Isabel Campbell sing on that one. And then there's Family Tree and there's Too Much Love. Um, in my opinion, not a bad track on here. Um, this also was um, the first al album, or it wasn't the first album, but it was the album where they really started to get more lead people in the band to sing lead vocals, such as Sarah Martin, Isabel Campbell, and uh, St Stevie Jackson, who sings The Wrong Girl, and he sings on a few other songs on here. Um, but they, yeah, this was one of the albums where they really started to expand that. There was less of uh, just... Um, uh, the main lead singer, St Stuart. His name escapes me right now, but the lead singer anyway, he, uh, it's Stuart something, or something Stuart. Um, anyway, um, also, if you look real close, it's hard to see, but they, there's two books they have there. Um, the one on this side actually says, I fought in a war. And the one on the other side is Beyond the Sunrise. Both are tracks from the album, but apparently they're both fake books. <laughs> they don't really, they made them for the record, I guess. But, so just a neat little artistic flair, I guess. But yeah, so this is, um, I think this is a solid record, top to bottom. Um, I think it would be probably a good introduction to the band if you're not familiar with them. Um, I, uh, they have... I mean, they've been, they're still going today. I think they're working on a new record right now. Um, you know, they've gone, you know, I think after there was the album after this, I can't remember what, which one that is called, but the one after that, when they got to this one here, The Life Pursuit, I think they kind of changed uh, a little. You could hear a little changes in their sound. It's a little different. Um, and, um, yeah, it was interesting and it's good. It's all good. All their, they're, they're good. They're great songwriters. So like, and, and they're good musicians. So it's, um, it's always interesting what they do and they seem to do a good job on everything they try. I don't know. Um, but I did, they, they did an album around 2017, 2016, Girls in Peacetime Want to Dance, I think it's called. Which kind of reminded me of kind of a return to form. Not a return to form, but a return to maybe the earlier style. Uh, it sounded a lot like those first four records to me. Um, but either way, it's all good. I like everything they've done. Um, and this record is one of my favorites. Hold your hands, child. You walk like a peasant. So that's it for today, for this video. Um, I will be continuing to do these top 100 videos occasionally. Um, if you like them, there is a playlist on the channel. You can take a look at the other ones I've done. Um, I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, thanks for watching. I, uh, if you like this kind of thing, you can like and subscribe. I appreciate it. And have a great day.